What comes to mind when you think of Butler County? Where were you born? Here in Butler County, Jenny, a little over 65 years ago. So you lived here all your life? Yep, worked on your great-granddaddy's farm and went to school at Carn City. That's where I met your grandmother. Then we got married. I got a job at Copper's. And we've lived here in Butler County all our lives. Jeez, didn't you ever want to live in Florida or somewhere else like that? No. Your grandma and I have always liked it here. Everything we ever needed was close by, and all our friends are here, too. And there's always something to do. Over 150,000 people currently call Butler County home. And by the year 2000, it's estimated that our population will be over 220,000. In fact, Cranberry Township in southwest Butler County is considered one of the fastest growing areas in the nation. Butler County is located just north of Pittsburgh, one of the largest metropolitan market areas in the United States. The climate is pleasant, with adequate rainfall for maintaining a healthy agricultural economy. It sure is a beautiful day for a ride, Grandpa. Yes, it sure is. And there sure are a lot of trucks out on the road today. The transportation network and Butler County's strategic location within a 500-mile radius of eight of the nation's largest industrial markets make this area an attractive location for business and industry. Highways are not the only means of transportation available to local business and industry. Access to the nation's inland waterway system is available near our southeast corner at Freeport on the Allegheny River. Rail is also available with both Conrail and the Chessie system operating within our borders. Butler Graham Airport and several smaller fields around the county provide facilities for travel by smaller aircraft. Times have changed from when I was your age, Jenny. It used to be that most people worked on the farm or at Armco or at Pullman Standard. But now there are a lot of opportunities for a job in so many different types of businesses. Butler County's industrial community is varied, ranging from small companies to large plants employing thousands. More than a billion dollars in goods is produced annually in Butler County, ranging from steel, petroleum, electronics, rubber products, ceramics, glass, metal fabrication, concrete, even laser optics. Butler County's agricultural and farm production annually generate over $50 million in sales. Products include dairy, poultry, horticultural products, and 18 firms engaged in food processing and manufacturing. Business finds healthy growing conditions with easy access to markets, raw materials, low-cost energy, and encouragement and support from the local community. Butler County Chamber of Commerce and its affiliates, the Community Development Corporation and the Travel and Convention Bureau are continuously working to create and maintain a healthy economic climate for our existing business and industry and encouraging new employers to locate here. They help by providing the needed information that interested parties request. 
excess funding sources, cut red tape, and help take down roadblocks which may prevent a new firm from locating here. There's where I'll go to school next year, Grandpa. You know, my friend Sally goes to a private school, and Tommy is going to high school this year. Even Mom is going to night classes at college. She's studying to become a knight? Oh, Grandpa. Seven public school districts, Butler area, Carn City area, Mars area, Monata, Slippery Rock area, South Butler, and Southwest Butler are located within our borders. Another district, Freeport area, also serves residents in the southeastern corner of the county. These districts provide primary and secondary education to grades kindergarten to 12. In addition, there are seven elementary and four secondary parochial schools and several private schools. High school graduates in Butler County can also find quality higher education here at home. Butler County Community College was Western Pennsylvania's first community college founded in 1965. BC3 students can complete the first two years requirement toward a bachelor's degree or obtain a two years associate's degree or certificate in one of 31 different programs. Part of the state system of higher education, Slippery Rock University also offers an opportunity to complete bachelor's and master's degrees in over 40 areas of study. Both Slippery Rock University and Butler County Community College have excellent continuing education departments. Nearly 30 other four-year colleges are also located within commuting distance of Butler County. This gives everyone an opportunity for an education and enables each individual to reach his or her goals and potential. See that house, Grandpa? That's the one I want to buy when I'm on enough and have enough money. That sure is a handsome one, Jenny. This is a nice residential area with all these beautiful old homes. I like a lot of new homes too, Grandpa. Like the one we live in now that Mom and Dad bought last year. Well, people are living in all kinds of homes, Jenny. Old homes, new homes, some really nice apartments, and even underground in homes heated by the sun. Because taxes and the cost of living are more reasonable here than they are closer to Pittsburgh, there are all kinds of new homes being built here in Butler County. But at any rate, the landscape around here definitely is changing. About 10,000 years ago, a glacier that extended into western Pennsylvania was responsible for carving the interesting landscape that makes each town and village in the county unique. Returning Army veterans from the Revolutionary War were given payments for their service in land in what is now county territory. The 814 square miles of land that comprises Butler County was part of a purchase under the Fort Stanwyck Treaty of 1785 in settlement with the six Indian nations. Indians were known to live here as early as 1390 in an area now called Bonnybrook. In 1804, the followers of George Rapp came from Germany to found Harmony, which was the beginning of one of America's most successful experiments in communal living. In the 1870s, Butler was in the midst of an oil boom that established the county as the major contributor to world oil production. Butler County history was shaped by people like John Roebling, inventor of the wire rope, which made possible the construction of the Brooklyn Bridge, and Uncle Billy Smith, who made the tools used to drill the world's first oil well in Titusville. The radio tower for the first radio station, KDKA in Pittsburgh, stood 718 feet high in Saxonburg. Even the famous Jeep, the general purpose vehicle built by the U.S. military, was developed in Butler County by the American Bantam Car Company. Oh, Grandpa, look at all the sailboats. Aren't they beautiful? Just a short drive from anywhere in western Pennsylvania is Lake Arthur, the feature attraction at Moraine State Park located in Butler County. The park has facilities for boating, swimming, hiking, camping, cycling, snowmobiling, cross-country skiing, picnicking, and more. Jennings Environmental Education Center 
covers 400 acres with miles of trails through a unique natural environment and is homed for the blazing star, a rare flower that blooms only in midsummer. Butler County is also a haven for outdoorsmen. There are 17 public and private golf courses that offer challenges to pros and weekend adventurers alike. Antiques and crafts are abundant, as are campgrounds, family recreation, historical sites, restaurants, and shopping areas. And Lernerville Speedway explodes with auto racing excitement during the summer stock car season. The Butler Little Theater has been in operation since 1941. The Comptra Players in Cranberry Township also put on regular productions for those who enjoy live theater. The Butler County Symphony and the Musical Theater Guild both afford amateurs and professionals an outlet for their artistry. Mom and Dad are always planning something to do. It seems there's always some place to go around Butler County. Well, it sure seems like you're busy. Well, between dancing school, gymnastics at the Y, and soccer, there's the courthouse, Grandpa. Yeah, that's where our county government is headquartered, right here in Butler. Butler County government is headed by a three-member board of commissioners. By act of state legislature, Butler County was created in March 12, 1800. The courthouse was first built in 1807, but destroyed by fire. Rebuilt in 1908, the present structure is recognized for its significance on the National Historic Register. As county government grew, offices expanded from the courthouse into the Lafayette building. Butler County municipal governments include Butler, a third-class city, one first-class township, 33 second-class townships, and 23 boroughs. Grandpa, you remember when you sat with me while Mom went to see Grandma in that hospital? Well, I was really concerned about your Grandma then, honey. But you know, things went so smoothly, and everyone out there were just so helpful. Residents of Butler County are fortunate to be able to draw upon a wide range of health care services seldom found in the small communities. The Butler Memorial Hospital is the heart of the county's health care system. It recently opened an urgent care center in the Cranberry area and a professional office complex in Cooperstown to extend its services to the county's fast-growing areas. Since 1946, the Veterans Administration Medical Center has served veterans from the surrounding area. When acute care is not necessary, long-term care is provided by 12 nursing homes located in the county and a number of professional and non-profit groups that service the needs of the Butler County patient recuperating at home. Because Butler Countyans are proud of their community, they actively support its welfare through the programs of numerous public and private human service organizations. Grandpa, I wish we could spend more time like this. Well, so do I, Jenny. But it just seems that since I retired, I've had more things to do than when I was working. You know, your grandma and I, living in the high-rise, have friends and neighbors our own age that help each other, and we're always planning trips and other things to do. The Tanglewood Senior Center keeps us busy with the activities over there. But you know, when I sit back and realize all the years I've lived in Butler County, I sure have gotten a good return. It's a fine community of caring people with every opportunity available to learn and work and relax and raise a fine family. Butler County truly is my home. No, Grandpa. Butler County is our home. <laughs>